Hi guys. A couple of weeks ago, now I think it was a couple of weeks ago, um, I made that faux jelly plate out of packing materials and I printed on some newspapers. This is the drop sheet that was underneath all the um, all the prints, but I'll bring the prints, uh, um, just a few of them. This is just um, a few of the prints that I did that day. So um, these are just printed on newspaper. I really like that one. So I might keep that one out. This one needs a little bit more layering. That one's quite pretty. Yeah, so anyway, so today I'm going to use some of them up. And I thought I would bring you along to share the process. Um, it's nothing spectacular that I'm making. I mean, they've all been made before somewhere in YouTube land. Um, I'm just using recycled stuff to make them. So I'm just trying to find another piece. Um... These are so delicious, guys. So delicious. And I've got Chad in here hiding from Miss Ella because it's Miss Ella just wants to be friends. Um, it's another drop sheet. That is pretty. But I'm using newspapers today, so I will just grab a few I'll just grab that one because I do have some smaller bits actually so let me just fold these up and move these out of the road and I'll grab those smaller bits because um, I've been using these to make what I've been making so I've got these to play with as well these are the ripped pieces that ripped that day. Um, this one here, see it ripped on the plate, but I can still use the, um, the print underneath. So um, let's get stuck into it. Yes, yeah, so we have Miss Ella who's come to live with us. She's a new addition to our family. Um, she's a Kelpie, a, a dog, for those of you overseas who are unsure of the breeds of dogs. Um, she's a Kelpie and she's a year old and our Chadwick, the king of this house, doesn't like it much. <laughs> so he's hiding on my sewing machine table. He's over there on a blanket and he's um, all nice and cozy. So anyway, um, what was I doing? Okay, yes, so we're going to make some stuff. How exciting. So I'm going to use today, I'm not sure of um, whether you're aware of Mothers, it's an energy drink that we get here in Australia. I'm not sure whether it's anywhere else, I'm pretty sure it's only Australian. Um, and I'm kind of addicted to it. I have one can every day-ish. <laughs> um, and if you buy them in a pack, they come in a pack of four and they come in these boxes. So I use these boxes a lot. Um, to get rid of them, I make my tags out of them and I make um, all sorts of stuff. So anyway, today we are going to use the bottom section or the top section. that The top section. So we're going to use this section here. So because it's a fairly high gloss paper or cardboard I should say, cardboard, I've pulled the top layer off um, because they look like this with the layers on. So I thought I'd just rip the whole lot of this off and make life easier so I'm not doing individual ones. So once the layers are off, um, I'll just quickly cut out because um, there is a circle there where the drink cans went. Um, but I have did use the bottom of my Helmars bottle because it fits in those circles really nicely. Um, so let me just cut out another 
to and we'll have a play. Uh, they're roughly about two inches, a little bit under, I think. Um, so if you have a two inch punch or you can do any size you want, really, like just whatever size punches. Um, this is just the size I've chose to do. So let me have some scissor practice because oh, I need it. <laughs> Even now it's wonky. So these are very, um, very handmade, guys. <laughs> All hands on on these ones. All right. So there's one. Okay, there we go. That one was pretty. I'm impressed with that one. Good jeez. All right, now let's have a look. Let's move that one out of the way. So when you pull the top layer off, um, you will get like a furry side where the paper's been pulled off. Um, I use that to stick to the newspaper. I don't know why, but I just do. <laughs> so let me grab down some little pieces here before I cut into this big one. I kind of like that as a journal page actually. Um, I don't know whether I want to chop that up yet but I'll have a think about it. Um, okay so I kind of like this beautiful texture so I might stick that on the back of that. Oops, come here, come here. Let me just get rid of this first. I'll just um, quickly, quickly run the knife down and just tidy that little edge up. It won't be straight, but that's okay. okay Stanley blade. Yeah, we just do that a little bit. Okay, so yeah, I might do it along that edge actually. All right, so is that the right one? Yeah. Okay, so now for this um, sticking down, you can use glue stick, um, Fabri-Tac, any kind of glue you use. This is a mixture of glues. Um, <laughs> It's just a little tiny, tiny bottle that once it gets like down towards here, um, I fill it up with whatever glue I've been using that's on my desk. So um, water-based glue, like there's no Fabri-Tac in there, obviously, because it's a different glue base. But um, I've got PVA, I've got um, Tarzan's Grip, I've got Eileen's Tacky Glue in there even. And I think I've even got a bit of that... Um, Gorilla, gorilla glue or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so I'll probably invent a glue that actually sticks inside the bottle. That would be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right. So yeah, we're going this way. So I should be able to fit the three across there. Don't you just love the feel of glue? I love it. All right. I was one of these kids who would paint my hands with um, the old glue bottles um, and it used to dry like a skin on your hand, the clear, and then you'd pe peel it off like a face mask. I used to do that. <laughs> yeah. Fond memories of school. All right. So once we've got those three there, let me put the lid on that. I'll just roll it over with a brayer. I use this one here for um, glues and stuff because I don't really like using this one on my jelly plate. Um, 
but it's good for this. All right, so once that's there, I'm going to stick this underneath my cutting mat to keep flat while it dries um, a little bit. And while that's drying, um, I'm going to stick together two book pages. So let me find a book. And I know I've got one here somewhere. The one I'm still trying to use up. Apparently it's a really good series. Um, so there you go. If anyone's interested in this book, it's a series on Netflix apparently. <laughs> um, but anyway, it becomes my collage and craft pages. Okay. So we'll stick that together. I'll just give it a quick um, read through to make sure there's no um, unappro inappropriate stuff on there, you know, like heaving bosoms and stuff like that, because that's the kind of book it is, I guess. Don't know. I haven't read it. <laughs> um, so anyway, so we stick these two pages together just to make it that little bit thicker and it gets rid of you um, never-ending book pages too. So I'll just do that and stick this way. This will become the back of what? Oh, I haven't even told you what I'm working on yet. Gee, I'm slack. All right, Rayleigh, get your stuff together. Hurry up. These poor people are watching this and they have no idea what you're even doing. All right. So once I've given that a scrape out, you can use an old credit card or whatever. This was just what I had handy. And yes, I found it. Oh, thank goodness. It was buried in amongst my stuff. Okay. So we stick this under our mat, and while this is drying, I will show you what we will be making. <laughs> All right, just helps, just keeps it flat so it doesn't curl. Um, okay, so what we're going to make today is some of these handy dandy altered paper clips. Now, this one here. Um, is made from the same, like a mother box, covered in my newspaper jelly prints. And I've just added some scrap fabric here and I've made a little flower out of tea bags. So that is stuck there with a little bit of bling on the bottom. And there's our altered paper clip. Yeah. So um, let me see if I can grab. <laughs> You've got paper everywhere, Riley. Just grab something. Um, but what's appropriate? <laughs> That's the problem. All right. Um, let me just grab an envelope. That might be the best bet. Look, an envelope. So just an altered paper clip that you can put inside your journals. How cool is that? So there's that one. The little mushroom and it opens up and it's like a little tiny notepad and that's another print off the newspaper I've just cut out into a I do have a little punch for that See there. so there's that one and there's this one here and this is another pop out little note there it's got some music paper on it um there's a this is lovely i love how that bit turned out and i've just added a little bit of um burlap there or whatever you call that twine um you know the stuff i'm talking about <laughs> and um just a little um what do you call those things a frill or a see my brain's gone and I just sewn it together. It's just um, the fabric out of my husband's pockets in his pants. Um, 
because the fabric's really nice inside the pockets. I don't know whether anybody's noticed that, but when he wears his, you know, like when they're old and they wear out and get holes in them, I um, get the pockets and I use that fabric I, and the shorts where I can. And we also have here, and I've just um, stamped a um, dragonfly stamp onto a bit of the fabric um, from shorts as well. Um, on top of a bit of hessian or burlap there um, and I made some little beads out of the prints as well and I've just added some charms so there we go so that is on the agenda for today oh, there's some more so I have been busy I love this one I finished this one last night I love how that one turned out. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, so I have some here that I need to decorate. I don't want to decorate that. I love that just the way it is. I love that. Oh, and here's one here. This is a little envelope. Um, and it's got like a little little tag in it. And I'm pretty sure that I make like I made that one have a tag at the back as well you can put a tag in there a little tuck spot but aren't they just the cutest i love them they're so cute um so anyway let's get on with it otherwise we're never never gonna get any made <laughs> all right so yes they're the ones that i've got to decorate yet i've got three there and i've also got um one there which i love and I did have another one here. That one. I have an idea for that one. So I'm going to decorate. Once I put the book page on the back, um, I will decorate that today. Um, anyway, that should be dry. So I'll dry-ish. So let's pull them out. Yeah, it's nice and flat now. So I'll just cut this out. So that's our paper. Harvey Norman. <sighs> Where they sell all sorts of electrical stuff. White goods they used to be. I'm not sure whether it's still white goods or whether they sell other things now. I haven't been in there for a long time. Okay. There we go. Oh, doesn't that look yummy? Oh. So you can use your um, newspaper prints for uh, um, ACTs, for backgrounds for ACTs, um, for the coin ACTs, because these are roughly two inches. Um, they just they make beautiful backgrounds on things. And you're getting rid of newspapers, which, mind you, our poor newspaper here, I think it's closing. I don't think there's going to be a newspaper soon. Um, a few of them are closing around here throughout Australia, so I heard. So, yeah. Because everything's online now, see? They're just not getting the money. Sad. Nelly there. Nelly there. All right. So let me move that. Oh, that is so delicious. So delicious. I'm going to have to make a couple of beads out of those two guys. So if you're here for the long haul, let's do it. <laughs> if not, you know what to do. You can fast forward and skip to the end. But let me just trim this off. Um, is that there? Yeah. All right. Nice. Oh, so I go and rip it. It's gonna look nice on a collage sheet, isn't it? See, so keep everything, guys. Just go crazy. <laughs> 
Okay, um, I might just keep going actually. So I found with my beads, they are a really nice colour. So I've got to, I've got to add them to my collection here. Um, with the beads, I find that the I've tried one centimetre ones, and they're really tiny. Like one and a half centimetres hangs lovely. On I'm not sure. Pick the wrong colour. You pick a green one. People can really see that on the mat, right? <laughs> um, so one and a half centimetres, I find. Two centimetres is a little bit long, but hey, they look, still look cool. Okay, so let me move the dots. So roughly measure one and a half. It's not going to be perfect, obviously. So I'm not the best measurer. It's not as if I'm building a house or anything. I'll try and cut through that paint. There we go. And there. Oh, yum. All right. Now with these, um, I find that five centimetres is enough. Um for the length of the bead that you need to roll otherwise it becomes too bulky because you need to I, I'm trying to keep them flat to fit into journals okay so that should be five between each one two three four yeah five so I'll just fold that to there and then we just fold and fold there we go so I'll get my little knife. Oh, delicious. All right. So I'm just going to cut the ends. So we've got three. And it will give us another three. So there's six beads that we can get out of this little bit of newspaper uh, there and there so there's our six beads <laughs> doesn't want to come apart there we go. Let's move that for now. Because I need to grab my roller. Which is a good question in here, I think. It's my little pokey tool. And I've got oh, one here. It's just a quilling pen. Um, I have a few of these pick them up fairly cheap. Um, if I wanted to roll actual big thick beads I would use this little thing here that I made but um, yeah I'm just using this for these so pick which end you think's the prettiest. I actually think that with the red on it. I'll bring this down a bit so you can see. There we go. How's that? It's a bit dark and gloomy today. Um, so yeah I might use that end. Now I like to, I'll put the glue on that, the bit on that. I like to use a black pen to go down the sides of my beads because you get some, I'll just show you these, if you can see, you don't see the paper, like it it's, just turns out black, if that makes sense. Um, I do like that compared to the white edge, yeah. So I'll just, I'm not sure whether, somewhere where you can see, huh? Right. Um, I'll use the side of this. Right. So I'll just go down the sides and I want that end. This is just a whiteboard marker. Um, you can use metallic pens. Gold looks nice. I have done a few gold. Um, gold looks lovely. Silver, um, 
I might do this end. They don't take long to do. So while I catch up with YouTube videos, watch a bit of Netflix, um, I've been sitting here doing these. I did try and do a live the other night while I was doing some of these, um, but unfortunately um, the broadcast had other ideas. Um, yeah, it's kind of kept cutting out after a couple of minutes. Um, I think three minutes it was lasting. And then Emma from Starving Emma helped me um, make it last a little bit longer. So I got to 25 minutes. But apparently I need an Ethernet cable that runs from my computer into the... Um, modem or whatever it is I don't know okay let's grab my glue of everything and give this a roll oh they turn out so nice guys they really do um before I do that I need to grab some toothpicks and my chain where is my little water I don't know, I'm sleeping. I've got a bag here that I use for my needle felting. Um, it's just a burlap bag um, that I cut down um, and made and filled with rice. That's all it is. And I use it for my needle felting and to dry my little beads down here in the dungeon. How many do I need? One, two, four, five, six. There we go. I only need six. So put them back. All right. And we roll. A bit of glue. I'll just take that off. I like to do that because it rounds out the inside of your bead and it helps you, makes it, you know, I don't know, I just do it. <laughs> So see, it turns out nice and black on the outside. Um, so I'll stick those there. And throw another one. Oh, they turn out so yummy. Okay. Okay, guys, save your struggling to watch me um, do this because I can't see where I'm putting the slot. <laughs> um, I'll roll these um, and then I'll be back. 
I've got two more to do, so I won't let you suffer through that. Um, and I will be back. Okay, guys, now that I've done the beads, um, I'm going to just give them a quick coat in uh, varnish. Just helps protect the paper a little bit. Um, I do have a paintbrush here. <laughs> I've got so many on here. How about I just use this one? It's here. All right. So I'm just going to dig straight into my varnish bottle. Um, I couldn't be bothered looking for a little container, to be honest. All right. So I'm just going to give them just a little light coat. That's all. Just help that colour pop in those prints and protects it. I don't need a lot. Right. One more. I've got any? I've got a little bit in that lid. I'll just use it out of the lid. All right. So there's that. So these are done. Um, while I'm doing that, where are the ones that I cut out? Here they are. And I'll just give these a quick um, go over as well. Just help seal it, guys, that's all. Just a light coat of varnish. Uh, I could have picked a bigger paintbrush. Here's the other end. There we go. Yeah, that's better. All right. Alrighty. There we go. Beautiful. And I should really take this mat out from underneath there, shouldn't I? Okay, so this varnish that I used was just um, gloss varnish, Joe Sonia's or something. I just picked it up from um, Spotlight Craft Store here in Australia. Just picked that up from there. Um, yeah, but anyway, let's just move this craft mat out of the road and I'll wash this paintbrush and I'll be back. Okay, guys, while these beads are a little bit tacky, I want to add some, um, little bit of shimmer to it. So I'm going to put some gold, um, mica powder. On them. Um, I can't find my gold leaf at the moment, I think it's upstairs, but I'm just going to roll the mica powder up uh, the bead over the mica powder just to give it a bit of um, a shimmer. You probably won't be able to see it on camera, but it sure looks wonderful. And the varnish just helps it um, stay on and seals it a little bit. So just while it's still damp. Um, I'll do that and add a bit of shimmer to my background um, drop sheet here as well. Um, I like to have a little bit of gold bling if it's mica powder or gold leaf. Like I said, I can't find my gold leaf at the moment. I don't know where it is. Um, you can use eyeshadow. Eyeshadow works a treat. Um, 
I do have some yummy old, or not old eyeshadows. Um, I bought them brand new um, and I just use them for craft because they're too pretty to use on eyes. <laughs> um, so anyway, so there's that and there's this one here. So let's do that. So all my beads that I've made previously have all been rolled in gold mica powder as well. Oh, that looks yummy. Yeah. I'm not sure whether you can see. I'm just trying to. It's very gloomy down here today. It looks like it's going to rain. But can you see the shimmer on there? It's just beautiful. I love it. I'm going to have a little bit of blingy shine. I might put a little bit on this one here actually as well. So let me just. There we go. Pick up the rest of that on here while these are still damp. Can't really see it on that one. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. All right. So now that we've done that, I'll just move my rice bag out of the road and grab a couple of paper clips. Now, I found the big ones are too big for the backs of these. I mean, you could use them, but they just cover up the whole back. Um, so the smaller ones are the way to go. And I don't have many of those left, actually. I need to get myself some more. There's a white one. Don't no, use a white and a red. Come back, come back. There we go. Whoop. All right. Now. Yummy. All right, so how many do I have here? They're still a bit damp. And they've been done. All right. Um, hmm. Might just have to dry these a little bit, guys, because I really want to use them. I haven't got any um, extras. Oh, saying I can't find my gold leaf. Look what I found. Oh, there it is, right there. Hidden. Oh, this is nice and warm on my fingers. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a bit chilly now. All right. How are we going? There we go. Let's hang that back up. I've got a little hook underneath my desk here that I hang my heat gun on or embossing gun or whatever you call it. Not that I have embossing powders. That's on my to-get list. I really need to get myself some embossing um, powders and give it a go. Yeah. That would be cool. Anyway, so the next step is let's stick these down. So I might use this side. So you can either cut the sides off, as I have with these, and just use the middle section, or there is one that I did last night. There we go. I didn't cut the sides off. I just used um, use the book. So I might just use the book, the whole thing, and we'll just stick. Now, do I want? Yeah, I want that to run straight. All right. Now, glue. I use fabric glue for this. I want to make sure that it actually sticks because this is where we put in our paper clip. And we can't go wrong with fabric glue. I've got an idea for this one, so I'm going to use a blue. A blue. Alrighty. So we kind of line that up 
So we want the big bit at the back and the little bit on the inside. No, I want to cut the edges off. See, change my mind. Just bear with me. It won't take long. Just, just rip that off. And this one. them aside they will get used all right yeah all right the airplanes are flying over the wrath base Alrighty. Yep, that's good. Okay, so now we get the fabri -Tac. Um, I'll use this, like I said, because I know it will stick. Um, and so I'll just put a little bit around that um, paper clip. <laughs> put some on the back of this. Round and round. Don't explode. Awesome. And we put that down and position our circle and make sure our paper clip is where we want it, which is there, like that. Beautiful. All right, now I just need a card so I can get in there to push that down around the edge of this paper clip so that keeps that bit there nice and flush so let's grab that and I'll make sure that's all stuck beautiful and it still gives you time to make sure that paper clip is flushed down. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so I can't fit another one here, but I can use this for a tag or something. So I'll just keep going down. No, I'll chop it off first. Yeah, line that up. So I should get three out of that page. I'll just rip. That off. And get that out of the road. All right. So I'll trim that. Let that dry. Do I want that bit down the top or the bottom? Yeah, first first time was right. That looks nice there. All right. Let's grab a white. Oh, I might use purple actually. It's a nice um, violety color, isn't it? Matches the, the blue in there. All right. So once again, we stick, put glue all around the paper clip.
around the back. Just make sure that's centered. Move, move it over a little bit. There we go. Bring in the cards. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay. So we trim and stick down the next one. Okay. We'll do it that way. There we go. And we'll use red, so we'll match the red on there. Okay, we'll turn that around. Small side on the inside. Okay. Round. Oh. There we go. Just move that around it there. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Pretty much lined up at the back there. How fun are these to make? Hey, eh? lovely. All right. Yeah. That looks good. So now we trim the remaining page. Okay, so there's one. Let's give that another push down, make sure that's really on the firm. There we go. Maybe it's the scissors. Maybe it's not me cutting. <laughs> Seems to happen with every pair, though. Um, anyway. There we go. Look at that. Another one done. And lucky last...
Nelly there. Look at that. Round, round, round. Come on. Don't cut the card. You can do it. All right. Done. Let's give that another push. Now, this um, next step is optional, whether you want to do it or not. I just find it finishes off um, the clips. I just give it a Distress ink around the outside. Um, you can use any colour you choose. I'm just, you know, like the grungy look. Um, so let me find my Gathered Twigs Oxide, which I really like a lot. And I'll just give it a, a go over. A bit of grunge in the middle there. There we go. And this one, put a bit of colour on my drop sheet. How about that? All right, so there's that done. Now for the outsides. Um, now, um, choice is yours once again, what to use. I find it finishes off. Um, this one here, I use Black Nico to go around the outsides of it. Uh, this one was a bit of gesso or white paint. I can't remember which one it was. Probably, I think it was white paint that I just um, put on my finger and went around the outside. Again, Black Nico. Black Nico looks nice. This is bright yellow green paint or something that I used around the outside of that one. Um, or you can leave them plain. Um, but I like to cover up the, you know, the sides. So I'll quickly do that. Um, for convenience sake, I will use Nico. So I'll grab, I'll grab my Nico, and I will just go around the outsides. Just to, oh, and I drew on the back. See, look. Ugh. I'm in a rush. That's what's happening. Slow down, Rayleigh. Another one. All right. And again. <laughs> I'm doing well. Have to keep this one for myself, I think. Making a right mess of that one. All right. So I might try this. This actually, this experiment. Look at this. We'll go around. See if that works. No. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Go slow with this one. Go around the outside. I'm concentrating. Don't want to mess it up like I did that one. A little scribbles on the back of that. <laughs> anyway, concentrate. Really concentrate. You're nearly there. You're nearly there. There we go. Look at that. Let me just give that a paint along there. Paint colour in, you know what I mean. And there we go. Put it down before you wreck it. <laughs> and I might use a bit of paint on this one. Because um, <laughs> I've got these to decorate. So I'll use a bit of paint on this one. Um, I might use, what colours have we got in there? Um, I might use some of this, what is it, wine red paint actually. That will look nice around the outside of that. So let me just put a little bit on my finger, like so. And we'll just go around the outside of that. Yeah, so I'll put a bit there. There we go. 
too much. Put that back in the bottle. All right. So we just go around the outside. So this will take a couple of hours to dry this one, but that's okay. I hope you guys can see, probably not. I'm concentrating and I'm annoying, ugh, ignoring you guys, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to um, make sure it all goes where it should instead of all over the place. If there's little lumps, it's okay. Let's see. Blends in. It's all good. All right, so there we go. So that's the outline of that one, the border. And I will put that on top of, um, what can I use, what can I use? I have no idea, okay. I've got a glue stick here, so I'll stick it on top of that to dry, and I'll put it somewhere where I will knock it over for sure. Okay, I'll just stick that over there in the corner, out of the road. There we go. Okay. So that's done. Now let me just wash my fingers here. I've got a glass jar of water, so I can... Not that it's going to help. All right, done, ish. All right. So now we've done that. That one is a disaster, but that's okay. I can fix it, kind of. Won't worry about that. So let's get started on, we'll do two of these. How about that? Three of these. See, I can count. <laughs> Now, I had an idea for this one last night, and I was going to do it, but I thought, no, I'll wait until I get to you guys and see what you guys think. I've got these stamps, little cat stamps, and they are the cutest things. Um, mm, stamps, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my gosh, guys. I'm telling you. Okay, I've got these cute little cat stamps. Let me bring them over. Now, these are a purchase on eBay. I couldn't resist them. They are the cutest, cutest little things. Look at them. Hey? They're so cute. And they have attitude, which I like. So, as all cats do. <laughs> so, I stamped this little guy here because he is so fun. This one. Look at him. Look how fun he is. Yeah? Oh. And I really want to put him on this background. Yeah. Um, so I will be doing that now with you guys. Um, as soon as I grab my box of fabric, which is here. Now I need to get a peg for this one because when I made this box, it was my first one. I didn't make sure the lid opened properly and it doesn't stay open. So I've really, I've got to peg it. <laughs> 101 uses for pegs. Look at that. And these beads are dry now, but I'll still leave them there for now. Um, all right. So, yeah, this little guy, so much attitude. So what I've done is I found an old um, linen hanky. I mean, it's old. <laughs> um, it was my dad's. Um, Mum goes through his stuff every now and then, and he he has hankies. I mean, she washes them, and bleach them, and irons them, and continuously, and they're that threadbare and thin that they're just fantastic fabric. I love it. So whenever he doesn't know that she gets rid of them, because <laughs> he'll just use them until they fall apart, which they have. But he's you know, anyway. Um. 
and I thought I'd stick this little guy on there. It is so cute, yeah? Is it not? So we're going to do that together. So let me put a little bit of um, fabric glue down to start with. Yeah, he is so fun. I just love him. <laughs> he is so cute. Okay, let's stick that on there. A bit of fabric glue. Probably have to go back over the bits because I didn't put much on because I don't want it to seep through the um, linen if I can help it because it's threadbare. Like it is really thin, like old. <laughs> old hankies. Um, yeah. I'll pull, I'll show you what the um, actual hanky looks like soon. Um, so there we go. So there's that. Now we'll stick this little guy on. I did um, cut him, not cut him out, um, ripped around him and dyed um, the edges, inked the edges. So I have done that. I did that last night. Um Stick you down. Oh, I love him. He is so cute. So much attitude. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> Look at him. I love that. Anyway, so there's that. I mean, you can decorate them any way you choose. Um, so I don't think he needs dangles on him, but isn't he pretty? I love it. Anyway, so there's another one done. This one here I might put some dangles on. Um, so let's have a look. Um, shall we match the colours? Let's have a look. Put this on the white. Oops, sorry guys. Camera's right there and I headbutted it. Tush, right in the head. See, they're the longer ones. They're the two centimetres. Um, what should I do? No. See, now I'm overthinking, overthinking. Or we can use some of these ones. No, they're too dark. They match the darkness of that. All right. Um, I suppose I could always do, I do like the green because it stands out on there. So let's, let's have a look. Is there another long one? I didn't make many long, oh, there it is. Okay. Green or... Yeah, I like that. Let's just do that. I'm not sure whether you can see properly, but we're doing that. Okay, so let me get rid of that. Um, I'll get rid of this for now. I'll just close the lid. Um, now, I need my little bitty hole punch, which I have here. A pen that I can mark this with. So let's find the center of our paper clip and go down to the bottom and just mark a little way in. Probably, I don't know, half a centimeter, quarter of a centimeter. I'll do one there and one there. That looks fairly even, doesn't it? It'll do. Okay. And this here is a very tiny, very tiny hole punch. I just picked it up from um, $2 shop uh, here where we are. So I'm just going to punch where I've marked those white things. See the itty bitty holes? Um, 
and I'm going to grab some wire. Just um, grab my box of wire here. I've got to find my wire. It's all here. It's ready to go. It's just um, trying to organise. Okay. Now, I don't need that thin. I need about an 18 gauge. So that looks about the same, the right one there. So these are just electrical cables, guys, that I've pulled the um, copper wire out of um, to use for various projects. That's all twisted in there. Anyway, I'll deal with that later. Squirrel, I'm getting squirreled. And these are the jump rings that I made in my last video. So um, let me use that. Let me see which size I need. I've got a couple of different sizes in here. I think these ones will be too small. These are the knitting. Oh no, they're fine. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, these were from the knitting needle um, that I've done. So I need three that size. Two and three. Look at that. So let me put those in here. And I'll just grab my pliers. My round nose pliers will do. Um, let me hook that through that hole right there, like so. And I'll just, oh, gee, I <laughs> missed. <laughs> I really need new glasses. Um, and I'll just close that. There we go. Beautiful. Now that's a nice size actually. The last ones I used were a bit big on this little, um, this one here. But I mean they hang well. Um, let's just see how these smaller ones go. Let's have a look. Let me put that in the hole. And I'll just close that up. Oh, glue on my fingers. I've always got glue on my fingers. All right, there we go. Fiddly. And the last one, where did I do with it? There it is. No wonder I used the bigger ones last time. <laughs> it's really fiddly, guys. All right. Struggle's real. The struggle's real. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. So we'll close that up. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, it might work. What have I done to that one? I don't know. What have you done? There we go. Yeah. Don't know. We'll see. I might have to use the bigger ones, but so far it's looking okay. Okay, so let's unravel a bit of this wire. And I'm going to go through these beads that I've pulled apart off necklaces. Um, I don't know what we're going to do on the front of this, so I don't know what colour beads we want. But, um, hmm, actually, I want to pull this apart. I picked up some old jewellery. I've got a box full of old jewellery here that I get from op shops. I just want to borrow some of those turquoise beads there um, that's what I want so 
so oh I've lost the whole heap but that's fine okay there we go we'll use some of these so I want a turquoise bead that the only reason I'm going to do turquoise is because it's got a bit of turquoise tiny little bit there and up through here so um, I thought it might match yeah they're very long beads aren't they maybe I should I've got the smaller one there similar color yeah that looks better That looks better. All right, so let me grab that one and that one. Yeah. All right. So what I want to do is I want to just uh, make a loop. So I'm going to bend that that way and just twirl that around my pliers like so I'll grab the cutter my husband watched my last video when I was making my jump rings and he goes they're my pliers <laughs> yep they sure are I love them they are so good <laughs> Thanks, darling. All right. So let me do the same on this end. So I'll just do a, a bend and a twist. And I didn't bend that enough close to the B, did I? Okay, let's try again. Bend and around. There we go pliers now I don't know whether uh, where did the bead go and it fell off <laughs> let's start again it's all right I can probably edit it unless you want to see the mistakes Let's see. Okay. Well, we've got to redo that. Let's try again. Let's try again. And again and again. We'll get it eventually. Which one was it? Put that one in the middle. Okay, I'll make sure I put the bead with it this time. So around and around and we twist and we got a nice little loop. So we'll cut that off. Oh, gee whiz. There we go. I'll just make that flush so we don't hurt ourselves on the hook. Now, make sure that you have that last bead down. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be oopsie. Okay, so we twist as close to that bead as we can possibly get without breaking it. And we move the wire back around like so. And we cut... And there's our last loop. So I like to have one loop going forwards and one loop going sideways. And let's stick this one up in here. Let's just see how this looks because I'm pretty sure that I might have to use the big jump rings, guys. Oh, the next size up from those. 
Yeah, that looks better. All right, let's have a look. Let's open this back up again and see if I can see if that will hang nice from there. I don't know. Won't know till we try it, I guess. Well, that's not too bad yeah that's not too bad okay so moving on to the next one so same process find out wire our beads Okay, I need my pokey tool. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's not it. My bead's not open properly at the end. I think it's got a bit of um, varnish blocking it. So I'll just give it a, a whirl through there like that. I'll try and trim that end off and see if that helps. There we go. So we've got that, another bead. Oops. So the same thing. We just bend and twist that wire around and then straighten up. And you've got your little your little loop. I give that a trim. So there's that. And that way if you wanted to hang charms off the bottom of your um, dangles, you can add charms. Or you can buy those, um, oh, what are they called? The long, the long jewellery pins with the flat end on them if you have any of those. Um, And then we wrap around, straighten up, and there's our other loop. I'm coming and cut that off. Oh. I'll just tidy that up a little bit. There we go. Done. One to the side, one to the back. Beautiful. All right. Let's stick this on here. They hang well, but for fiddly sake and on camera work, I should have done um, size bigger, but that's okay. Just hang that on. Oh, come on, you can do it. <sighs> Hey, Elton John. I have my Elton down here now. They're feeling a little bit lost with a new addition to the family, but I'm struggling here, guys. My fingers aren't working today. All right, so there's two and three. I'll trim that off. Could have sworn there was enough big beads in there. Hmm. I'd have to pull some more off. Maybe they were the ones I dropped on the floor. I only need two more. Look, there they are. Two. Yep. All right. One, so back, 
them around and then straighten them up. And then we can close that. That's it, guys. All done. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I'll put it on here. I can find the end. There we go. Okay. And there's our... Oh, I'm off camera. There's our little dangles. There we go, look at that. So there's that one. Now we just have to um, decorate. So what I might do for this one is what I've done here for this one. Um, because I really like that effect and I thought I would share that with you on how I did that. So all I did, um, this has been varnished, obviously, because I, I varnished them just to seal the um, newspaper and paint. Um, so I grabbed um, a bit of old tea bag here. Um, and I just went over the top of that. And I used a little bit of this matte medium. Just give it a twirl and loosen that up a little bit. Give it a mix. I don't want to shake it because I don't want bubbles in there. Um, so, while I'm shaking that, let me see if I can find a proper paintbrush to use. I do have like hundreds of the things. You think I could find one? Come on, man. Get with the program. This one will do. No, that one won't do. I'll just use this one here. All right. Um, it's reasonably soft and it'll work just fine. Once again, I'm just going to go straight out of the, um, I'll just use it out of the lid. There you go. Um, I don't want to do that one. I want to do this one. So ideally, I would have done that first <laughs> before I put the holes in. But you know me, I just just go with it. So this is what happens when you go, oops, I should have put it down first. You can still do it. Just, yeah, just do it. <laughs> so we'll stick that down with our, our matte medium. It just takes away the um, in-your-faceness of the um, colour. I like it a lot. Yeah, so this is what happens when you go, oops, you can still fix it, guys. You can still still work with it. So let me grab my scissors because I just need to trim this off so I can get that tea bag around those beads. It's going to be extra fiddlier, but you know what? This is the fun of crafting, isn't it? Making mistakes and thinking, I need to do that first next time. And then you don't do it first next time. <laughs> it's all, all fun. It's all fun. All right. So we've got that. So let me try and get this down. I'll have to go around the outside of this again in um, black pen. So we need to snip that there. And we'll lay that down under there like so. We need to snip that there. And can you see? And there. So <laughs> 
say it can be fixed. Can be fixed. All right. So now we'll trim that off and okay there we go look at that so that will sit down on there If it lifts up still afterwards, you can put a little bit of um, Fabri-Tac down to make it stick, but it should be fine. There we go. So while that's wet, um, actually, I'll wait till it to dry. I don't want to wreck my pen. I'll give it a helping hand. So yeah, ideally you would put all that down first. Then put your holes in it and then your ends, but obviously, you know, got to do things the hard way. <laughs> it was the spur of the moment, guys, I promise. All right. Still a bit tacky, but that's okay. So we'll go back around it with our pen just to highlight that um, bit of black that was on there. make it look like we meant for this to happen yeah it's all in the plan that's it now we go around there you go you wouldn't even know wouldn't even know Okay, so see how you can still see the colours through, um, but it just gives it that aged, aged look. So while that's drying there, I'm going to um, get this bit here sorted. Now, I did stamp out a few last night to keep aside for um, um, later uses because um, I was kind of going crazy with the stamps. Um, let me see if I can find see I went crazy with this dude here this guy <laughs> I just love him I love him he's got so much attitude you just got to love it um, where are you butterfly stamps uh, what have we got here postage oh there's my dots yeah I made some postage um, stamps on tissue paper there we go there he is right there so that's just a stamp um, on a piece of tissue paper and oh look at these see look isn't that one cute oh, I just love them I just love them anyway we're working on this one so what I'm going to do is it's going to be just like that one um, I'm just going to rip as close as I can to the outside of the stamping um, without ruining it really that would even be nicer if you were to not wreck it all right there we go right there like so so that's just on an old piece of tissue paper which i have here that um i stamped on so i'm just going to distress the edges a little bit with a bit of this um gathered twigs oxide i just want to give it a bit of color
there we go. Look at that. Yeah. I like that. So now we get our um, I'm going to give that a coat of gloss actually guys. I'm going to uh, no I might do it afterwards and that way this can be glossed over as well. Okay so once more I'm going to use my matte medium and I'm going to stick this on here. You can use Mod Podge. I've just got this here. My Mod Podge is somewhere. Um, I don't know it's around somewhere. This is what I have in front of me. So this is what I'm using. And you just position it um, to wherever you want it. And we just paint it down just like so. But like I said, you would do all this first before you put your beads on. But yeah, I just... Um, I'm a bit like that sometimes, aren't I? All right. Let's just mop up around our beads here. Don't want them to stick. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. So once that's dry, um, we'll give it a coat of varnish and that we'll call that done. So I'll just give it a helping hand with the handy dandy um, heat tool. So that's now um, dry enough to touch. Just my fingers that are sticky. So what I'll do is give it a quick coat of varnish and then that will dry over the next couple of hours. But it's basically finished, guys. It's done. So I'll just grab my varnish out again. And I'll cover the whole lot and just seal that um, tea bag and um, what do you call it? <laughs> I just said it before. Tissue paper. So we'll seal the tea bag and the tissue paper and the varnish also helps bring the colour back out again. So there we go. Guys, that's it. That's done. Look at that. I'm just going to give this one another go over as well. Might as well. I have it on my... um. On my brush, might as well use it. There we go. Done. So I've kept just here now for one hour and 33 minutes, guys. Um, I would pro probably a bit less because I'll probably fast forward a few few areas when I edit. Maybe. We'll see how we go. Or you can do it when you watch. <laughs> Either or. Um, yeah, I should have used the large... Um, the large rings so what I will do is when that is dry um, I will take the large rings out so I, yeah, I don't know it should be okay if I keep moving them it's just because I've got glue and uh, matte medium and varnish they should be fine it should be fine but anyway so that's the one once it's dry um, I've just done a, another coat of varnish on that one. But aren't they beautiful, guys? Yeah? So I'll just move this up and I'll bring out the ones that I've decorated for you to have a look at. So we have this one here is just a little collage of different papers and a bit of fabric. A tablecloth, I think that is actually. Or a doily. Um, I'll put that in the matte medium now. Um, but... Oh. And there's that little face, so cute. 
So there's that. I actually like this one. I'm going to try and do a few more of these. I'm going to make some more flowers out of tea bags. Um, because I have a whole container here full of tea bags um, that I need to use. So there we go, guys. Um, I need to decorate that one still. So I'll put this one over here. What else have we got? got our little mushroom and we have that one there so yeah you can decorate them any way you so wish you can put dangles and charms and flowers and oh here's that one there too that we've done see this one here I've put a little butterfly charm off there um that butterfly charm actually come off a package that I bought from Bonnie and Clyde's Etsy shop she had this attached to the um, twine that it was wrapped with so I've used that on there but yeah that was before I made my jump rings they, they hang fine um, they look okay but I just prefer the jump rings on there um, okay um, let's see how they look inside a journal shall we so I found this um, little journal here that I purchased from Bonnie and Clive I think it was last year or the year before um in from her etsy shop um so i'm going to chuck a couple of these in here just so you see how they sit inside the journal so let's put this little guy in oh look doesn't he look gorgeous <gasps> i just so love him um what can i use to tuck under okay let me just quickly go through my embellishment box here um envelope i might use this actually i might put that in there look at that so there's some um, a little envelope that i made out of a envelope <laughs> and we'll put that in there like so but oh doesn't he look so cute um what else can we stick in here i might stick that little bird tag and put a dangle put a dangle in I'll put this one. There we go. So they sit fairly flat, so you can, you know, it doesn't take up too much bulk. Um, so there's that one. I have put this one in here because, oh, look, I just love that the way it is. I can't cover that up. It's just too delicious. Um, so I'll stick that in there. So I could use this as my paper clip slash embellishment box, um, journal. Couldn't, shouldn't I? Couldn't I even? <laughs> oh dear me. All right. So these little envelopes here that I made, they're made out of um, the paper that I pull off the mother boxes. This is a frosty berry. My husband likes this one. So he drinks that one. Um, and I've just made a little envelope out of that and what's that? that's a beer carton <laughs> that's a beer carton anyway the things i make the things i make anyway guys so they sit nice and flush in your journals um they look fabulous i just love them look at that look beautiful yeah so anyway, guys, you get the idea of what they're going to look like if you know when you make them and stick them in your journals. Um, that was fun. I enjoyed that. I'm going to leave you right there because I like you a lot. You're going to stay in here. Mm. There we go. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for now. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, until the next video, give your loved ones a hug. They're precious, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye for now.